In today's video, I want to talk about a weapon that most people don't use. And I think with this combination, it's actually really lethal when it comes to PvP. And whenever they decide to nerf the classic M1A, I'm pretty sure this is the rifle that will take over. So I'm gonna go through the weapon, the talent, and just showcase it a bit and tell you my personal opinions. If that sounds interesting, then let's get started. Okay, so before I show you the gameplay, I'm gonna show quickly just what I'm talking about. So, the gun is the 1886, which is a lever action gun with 5 bullets normally. So the biggest problem with this gun though, it's a pretty fun gun to use. It's the same archetype as uh, Diamondback use, which is, in my opinion, super fun to use. However though, I do think this is one of the hardest, if not even the hardest gun to use in the game. It's super unforgiving. And yeah, it's just pretty rough, especially with the reload time. But it's really satisfying to play when everything is going well. So to eliminate one issue, you could use the talent lucky shot. So you will increase the mag size. In this case, just one more bullet instead of five. But the big thing with the lucky shot talent is whenever you miss and you sit in cover, you get the bullet back. So you can just basically spam for headshots. And every time you miss, you get the bullet back. But when you hit the headshot, you basically one shot them. So a viewer actually did recommend this to me. So first time he said it, I was like, nah, lucky shot sitting in cover. That's not my playstyle. Second time he said it, I was like, okay, I can see what you mean. And then I decided to try it myself. And personally for me, I think Diamondback just fits my playstyle way more. However, though, I can see this talent working really, really well for a lot of people. Especially if you're playing on console when it's harder to hit those headshots. This will like help you so much if you don't hate to sit in cover. So yeah, I will show you guys some gameplay here. Uh, one that I actually did record just when I woke up. So I would not have the best aims. So I could get a little bit more out of Lucky Shot. And then also two matches yesterday that I played on stream. Just some highlights from those, I guess. Because it wasn't commentary for YouTube. So. so yeah, and also in the gameplay in the stream, I did swap to Diamondbacks. I guess I'll leave that in too. But I thought this was still worth the cover, even though I don't think it's the best for me. I can see people using it. And also, as you can see on my gun, it's not the best here. Like, if I, I could have 5% more multiplicative damage here on out of cover damage. And yeah, that would be so much more damage. But yeah. Anyway, I will leave you guys here with the PvP gameplay. And I hope you guys will enjoy the video and find it useful. See you guys in the next one. I just launched the game now. Just woke up, basically. And hopefully... I can miss a lot of shots because that's when it's gonna be good, right? But then you just sit in cover and every time you miss, you would get all the bullets back, right? Which means you could just try to spam for the head. Even if you miss, you get the bullets back. And whenever you hit, you're gonna get a one shot. So that's kind of the idea behind the lucky shot. We will see if I can get some good showcase of it here. So that's why I just wanted to wake up and yeah, check it out. Because then my aim is probably not gonna be on top. So we will see. What are their levels? Uh, not the highest, not the lowest. Of course, I can't play as aggressive with this because I have to sit in cover, right? I want to like showcase the talent. That's the point here. So yeah, you're going to see me sitting in cover a lot. I shouldn't even push like I'm doing now. I'm not using perfect glass can right now, so I'm not sure if the damage will be enough. Most likely for this build, you want to use for glass cannon though and sit in the back and you snipe people as you can see it was 1.4 million there it's still pretty good though using unbreakable and getting that damage number you're running around so much you basically just want to stand and hold cover basically what he's doing there you're just spamming you want to kind of do that but spam for head and of course like with the m1a currently being this strong there's not that much point to use this it is easier to, to land those one-shot kills, though. Because they have higher base damage than the M1A. But I would still say M1A is better. But whenever M1A hits the hits the nerf, which is probably going to do soon, then this is going to be the next M1A. Especially if you want to go for one-shots. Of course, you have Diamondback to use as well, which I would definitely prefer. I'm not a fan of sitting in cover. But if you are, or if you can... Or like you can do it a bit and you don't hate it too much, then definitely it can be good, right? Like see here. Oh no, I'm missing, you know? And I only like lost two bullets there. Like you see what I'm coming from here? Of 
course you go against the shield that close, you kind of get fucked to be honest. Oh, nice, nice, bro. You're gonna hit that revive up, brother. No. Okay. What the fuck? I like the guy sitting in the cover. He's like, nope, I'm not gonna revive you. Fucking hate you, wits. Oh, sorry, brother. I can't revive you, dude. Sorry, dude. I will revive him though, just take care of this guy. So I guess I didn't hold it enough. There's another guy. Armor kit, I'm not firewall, which I'm used to. Of course, everybody is using... Everybody is using shield. Of course, using this versus shield is really bad. I kind of want to sit in cover, but I guess this guy don't want to let me. But I think you could see like decent usage of it there, like when I miss, you know? I don't want to reload here. Can he push me? You see, you spam it. I'm gonna reload the one bullet we don't want to have. But basically, for long range, just to be able to... to spam for head. This guy don't want to push. You see there, like I miss a shot, I get the bullet back instantly. And also keep in mind, instead of having five bullets, I have six, so... Oh! That hurt. There are only two guys left. Probably both in their spawn. Can I actually reach that one? I don't think I have the range here. I do, I do. Oh, what you say now, dude? Get countered. He had perfect glass cannon. That's why I hit 2.1 mil, I think. Because that works with the Seeker. But yeah, I think this was a pretty decent showcase of Lucky Shot. Didn't hit all the shots, which is good to showcase this uh, gun. But as I said, I will leave some footage from the stream yesterday as well. And you will also see me when I swap from this one to Diamondback. And you will see how hard for me, how for me the Diamondback is better. But definitely, I think you guys should keep this in mind. Uh, 1886 with lucky shot if m1a or when m1a is getting a nerf and this was a tip from one of my viewer welsh so yeah this is the worst build ever against secret minds though so the downside with this is gonna be to sit in cover because i hate sitting in cover but the good thing you can spam it right like if you miss it's not the end of the world I mean, I guess that worked. He survived. 1.5 mil. They should not survive, though. I'm not really even sure exactly what I have on the build. I will swap something, maybe. I'm not sure what I think about this, though, to be honest. Like, I'm not gonna spam it that much anyway, you know? Being forced into cover. I mean, it's decent. 1.9, I guess he had glass cannon. I mean, like right there, it's really good. Just, I mean, at least they played uh, quite a lot, you know. Because I can just, you know, I could have done this with a diamond back. And I get one headshot and then I just one shot to the body. Like what you want to do is like spam it. But if I one shot on the first bullet, like there's no point with the gun, right? Like this is kind of what you want to do, but in cover. Kill him. Because then you, if, if you miss, you get the bullets back. This is such an awkward spot. 
Yeah. There's too many angles. Nice, I'm missing. <laughs> like if I just hit every shot, you know, like this, this is when it's good. Like I can just spam like that, right? But I mean, if you hit your shots, then you don't need that. So to showcase the gun, I have to just fucking miss every shot, right? I don't have a... Oh, I, ha I do have a Diamondback. Because I got it today. It's not as good as the one I have, though. But let's just see the difference. I think for my playstyle, it's just better with the Diamondback. I need something to shoot now, though. See what I mean? One showing to the body. And now I have the problem that I have only a few bullets. So the shield is there, and it's not much what you can do against that. Agent down. Did you have two shields? He's trying to counter my rifle, or what, dude? That agent needs assistance. Please speak me. You see, like, why would I use 1886 versus this? I hate a headshot, I get 5 seconds to get more damage and, like, one shot them to the body. I don't know, dude, I'm not solo on the lucky shot. If, like, I don't know, if you like to see it in cover, sure, like, it's decent, I guess. But I feel for me personally, this is just better, more fun. Fuck! How do I not hit? Oh, I just need to hit him there and he's dead. I threw the game. Agent, deceased. Whoever is left standing. Oh. Oh. 